Uh, I'm Margaret in Windsor, and I'm giving a, just a little bit of uh, background here so that you'll know where I'm coming from on here. This video, I've done a lot of videos before, um, YouTube, over the last month, and Facebook. And I've been doing, telling about mind control murders and my kidnapping. Uh, my kidnapping, I didn't find out until 83, my real name, and um, Victoria the Second there to the British Crown and my father's King Edward the Eighth and uh, he did not marry Wallace Simpson as they said um, history would have you believe this is the double that married her she was born out of wedlock um, and the reason I'm saying that is things have been done in patterns there, the murders and all of it. Uh, I was brought to Molson, Alabama, and given the name of a twin, Peggy Ann Dempsey Childers. Married to Childers, Carl and Peggy were both dead. And uh, I, when I was able to get the birth certificates and his death certificate, Carl's, uh, she was fed to the pigs. <laughs> Plain and simple. I'm not laughing because it's funny, it's hideous that if any of this has been allowed to happen. Um, but I got the twins' birth certificates, and they had simply marked through, which is illegal, state of Alabama, Montgomery, uh, had marked through the dates they were born and put the date that had been given me as January the 7th of 39. There was even a different year. So all of the things have been done to me are illegal. I'm 75 years old now. You all, the United States, have had me for two years. And, um, I mean, for um, since I was age two, so you've had me 73 years. And it's been sheer hell every moment of it. And laws that were broken and committed that nobody has done anything other than benefit from. Uh, the woman that... Um, they left, dropped me off with Lana Dempsey, the twins' mother. I mean, she would have faced the um, gas chamber in Alabama, and I could keep going on this. And uh, that's the way they got her to comply. Anyway, um, my Uncle George helped kidnap me. This is a picture uh, in 39. Roosevelt had appointed Joe Kennedy the ambassador to Great Britain during that time, and the New World Order and the Rockefellers, Rothschilds, I said the Kennedys, uh, Freemasons have uh, orchestrated and have taken down my father and my kidnapping. Now, my Uncle George uh, sold out his own country, and he's illegal. It was an interim government was, that was put in place so my father could get it straightened out. My father was a great man. Um, and that's why they got rid of him. And then when I came along in 39, uh, I was the legal heir and still am. But uh, this woman sits there, and she's using my money and um, sold out Great Britain. Uh, she's a traitor, and they should be tried as such, the worst kind of criminals. Uh, instead, you're um, trying these people <laughs> that I've been telling about mind control murders. Uh, now, my mom is Georgia O'Keeffe's sister, uh, Claudia Ruth O'Keeffe. Georgia's the artist. And um, I'm showing Hustler Magazine here briefly because he wrote an article, and I put this in the past because this will go off before I get to even get to the point I'm trying to make. Um, 1984, I'd run a political campaign. This is August. And uh, Flint did a article on me t saying that I knew who was responsible for his shooting in um, Georgia. That they'd made a pauper out of me, etc. Now then, I want to um, go, if I can get on it without getting too many tapes involved. I wrote about mind control murders, and they extend way back before 70, and I do know that the Tesla files were stolen, I, as far as I, the history I've gotten on it, they were stolen back in um, 
early 30s or maybe a little before, but the FBI ended up with them, according to a book that I was given in a Xerox. And I'm pretty sure of that from what I know. I got a letter from the FBI June the 23rd of 79. I thought it was uh, because of the book I was writing, Larry McDonald, the congressman doctor, who later his plane went down August the 31st of 83, and that's the campaign I got in uh, to replace him. Now, I wrote about mind control and um, got a letter from the FBI on April the 1st of 80. I was real full of uh, antifreeze. And I was supposed to have died. My kidneys, uh, I was supposed to have gone into a coma, my kidneys gone, and uh, die. Instead, I was transported across the state line to Alabama illegally in that condition, brain damage, oh yeah, and told to pretend nothing had ever happened. And um, worked for the district attorney, Fred Simpson, there. Simpson, as in, in the. Um, Patterns, Wallace Warfield Simpson was supposed to marry my father, which was a lie. He married, uh, she married an imposter, and they became the Duke and Duchess of Windsor. Now then, nine control murders were done in patterns. It's illegal, um, it's an invisible uh, murder weapon, and they continued the same agency doing it that they uh, came in to the Wayne Williams as the profilers. They've even told you, and there was a book, The List, by Chet Bettlinger, uh, written about the Wayne Williams uh, murders, the black murders in Atlanta. It had nothing to do with them being, uh, if you want to say African-American, or, you know, you have to be politically correct. You can't even stop and try to tell the truth anymore about anything. But I told about all this then, and um seems that Mrs. King or nobody was interested in it because it would tell about who I am and my kidnapping and about the takeover of South Africa, um, which was uh, a lot of it British, and by the way, colonies, which uh, Elizabeth and her father um, signed treaties that are illegal that gave the United States um, access to put their military bases all over British soil. Hold the British hostage. They kidnapped me. I'm a hostage. I can't move around freely. Or, I mean, it, it's really hideous what they're doing to me in plain sight here, have for all these years. And, and so Great Britain is um, a hostage. And now then today I wanted to get to this. Nigeria was a uh, British colony. And he got his independence. And now then, what I've been telling about is the United States goes in and they create chaos. And they've used mind control. It's so mass at this moment. I can't say for sure that these people that did the kidnappings over there in Nigeria, that they're under the influence of mind control. But I do know that it's so widespread now, used by this country. It's a weapon they don't talk about. But I've been telling about it. That's the weird thing. And uh, I wanted to say this. They've just sent, under the guise of being the nice guy and friendly, and the U.S. Congress here is all boohooing, they could care less. It gives them access to look good and go in like they're being the heroes when they're the cold-blooded killers. And I've sit here all these years. I've gone up there. I've fallen down because I was so hungry with a letter from the FBI where I did the book in 82 I did I was uh, telling about the Hinckley John Hinckley was um, that shot Reagan and the press secretary Brady he was under mind control and um, all they did all anybody has done over these years I've gone to the press the press here in Roanoke's known for it since I came here in 86 they all knew about my kidnapping before I did. So the U.S. Congress, uh, to pretend that they're concerned about uh, I, I don't know about what to say about it, because I'm the monarch. Nigeria was part of the British Commonwealth of nations, colonies. 
um, 